Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. If you're headed out, let me warn you. We had some fog late last night, early this morning. That cleared out throughout this afternoon, but we're starting to see more of that fog fill into the area. Some of that fog is going to be on the thicker and denser side, so keep that in mind. Keep it slow on the roads. Lots of people on the roads late tonight and at the early hours of the morning. Taking a look at the satellite and radar, you see some of this blue stuff we haven't talked about in quite some time. Yeah, that's radar picking up on some moisture. Had some reports of some very light rainfall in the northern San Francisco Bay and now up in the northern parts of San Francisco. Good indication we have a change in the weather pattern and that's going to bring us the chance of some rain by the middle of the week. As for tonight, you can see all that moisture staying north. You don't have to worry about rainfall here in the Monterey Bay for your New Year's Eve plans. So that is good news. Temperatures are going to be a little chilly though, so some spots are going to be dipping into the 30s by early tomorrow morning. Similar numbers to what we had this morning. You can see 36 in Boulder Creek, one of the cooler spots, Scotts Valley as well and then in the afternoon lots of upper 50s in there because of that thicker cloud cover that we held on to for most of the day got a little warmer Carmel Valley at 69 and then down to the southern parts of the Salinas Valley some mid 60s and some upper 30s to start. Now we are going to be seeing temperatures is similar to this so you can see those upper 30s. That's what we're going to be seeing for our cooler valleys early on the morning and looks like the winds that we're seeing right now that are coming in mainly from the west very light around 5 10 miles per hour. Those are going to weaken throughout the overnight and we are going to see calm winds and then those lack of winds but then the cloud cover will keep our temperatures rather mild. Here you can see the satellite picking up that cloud cover and temperatures only in the 50s so pretty warm for now relatively speaking but as we go in through the rest of your night temperatures will drop off but not as much as most of the U.S. Look at this freezing temperatures all the way down to Louisiana the southeast dealing with lots of ice and snow dangerous conditions on the road so let's be grateful we don't have that for our travel this evening New York City 12 degrees let's take a look at the wind chill value though negative five Whoo, yeah, that's going to be chilly for those people heading out there. So as you watch the ball drop in New York City from your nice warm home in California, be grateful of that. Now here you can see just off the coast, we do have some more cloud cover coming. Again, this is a good change in our weather pattern. We've had high pressure over us. That's going to shift off. It's going to allow some moisture to come your way. Tomorrow, I think we're still going to be sunny. Tomorrow's actually going to be a beautiful day. As I mentioned earlier, maybe you want to head to the beach, do something outside with the family, appreciate the day off. There will be sunshine shine with a few clouds mixed in, especially near the coast. But as we go through the middle of your week, that's when this system is going to weaken. The ridge moves off and it allows this next system to come your way. That's going to bring rain chances for Wednesday, Thursday, in fact, all the way through your upcoming weekend. Want to focus on the fog where, as I mentioned, that is going to come in a little thick at times in the valleys as well early in the morning, and then that'll clear out into tomorrow. Your New Year's Eve forecast for tonight looks like it is going to be patchy at times with that dense fog with temperatures in the 30s and 40s for some of our warmer spots. Now, throughout the day, we are going to be seeing temperatures. I'm just going to skip through all of this. I guess I took too, too long talking about the national forecast, but there you are. You want to see your KSBW eight day forecast and there it is. 70s possible today or tomorrow and Tuesday. And then we're going to see those rain chances coming your way. Look at all mm -hmm. of those raindrops. No, it's not saying it's going to rain every day from Wednesday through the weekend, but we're saying there's a chance. And that's